when I interacted with the community that was the right one for me, there was a great sense of being at home. There was a great sense of, of acceptance. There was a great sense that, that this, this is a group of people that I really can share my life with and, and whose, whose kindness in return, sharing their lives with me, I really appreciate. The overall goal is uh, uh, for a, a man who is reasonably mature, mature to uh, deal with God's people, the uh, people of God, uh, in a human and holistic way. So given that's what we uh, want at the end of the stream, uh, the formation is, is designed for that. For that reason, I think it's important that we, we study in an open faculty, not in a sort of seminary type of atmosphere, uh, where the men get to interact on a daily basis uh, with uh, people of all age groups, uh, people of all uh, of, uh, male and female, young women, older women, uh, young men, older men, retired men, uh, young people looking for a career in some kind of ministry. That you go out and do that, but you, you know where it comes from. But you have a solid base in your life of the Word of God, the liturgy, especially the Eucharist, spiritual reading, uh, Lexio Divina, all of those things are part and parcel. They are part and parcel of your life. And you know that without them, your math, your science, and so on would just be empty words. I think feeling not holy enough or not worthy enough is very healthy. If, if we become obsessed with it, then it's problematic. But the reality is that we're never holy enough and we're never worthy enough of, of what Christ is giving to us. Uh, a focus uh, will always be, of course, the vows. Um, and living these vows in, in a holistic, uh, human uh, way within you know, the confines of what's required in the church. The first steps uh, in North America we call them associates. Um, usually the first period is uh, where uh, a man is loosely associated, affiliated with the house. He might go there once a week, uh, uh, special celebrations, birthdays, uh, special community celebrations for, for liturgy, for, uh, for a meal. Um, depending on the circumstances, it could be a little more frequent, it could be a little less frequent. Uh, after that, the, uh, the man would request, when he feels, uh, we feel comfortable with him, the community, and he feels comfortable with the community, he would ask to, uh, to live in one of our houses and, and participate in the apostolate. In most cases, certainly not all cases, it's usually teaching in one of our high schools and living uh, you know, in a high school apostolate house. And they would do that for six months to a year until they get a, a sense of what the community is all about and at which point uh, uh, they apply for the novitiate. Bishop is a canonical requirement, uh, a year plus a day. Uh, they, uh, they do the bishop, and after the bishop, uh, they're called scholastics. Uh, they perform, uh, they uh, profess temporary vows, and uh, they start studying uh, theology at that stage. If I were speaking to, to young people who are considering a vocation to priesthood or religious life, the thing I would want to say to them is don't be afraid. Give it a try if, if you're inclined that way. Give it a try. It will turn out to be the experience of a lifetime. And it will turn out to be an experience in which you will learn so much. That whether you wind up discovering that, that your vocation is to priesthood or religious life or not, the experience of, of seeking discernment, of, of seeking to find the answer, will be tremendously enriching. So don't be afraid.